you there? There we go. Is that there it? Go. Am I live? We are live. That took a while. Good morning. Welcome to Waffle Time. I'm Matt. This is James. And we are here to talk about some RC stuff. Yep. Um, and probably some other stuff at some point. Maybe some other stuff. This is Waffle Time, so that's what we do. Um, yeah. So I suppose we'll start with the obvious. Yep. There's a big row of bodies on the counter. Uh, they are team. Team. Like kind of locals, regular yep. people here, bodies. Uh, we've been doing these for a while. Um, first thing is um, just to uh, apologize about my phone ringing. That's some kind of phone people trying to make me a deal. Bastards. Um, yeah, it's just apologize that the bodies have taken a little while. Yep. Uh, there was a lot of people to organize. Um, and these are the ones that have actually gone with the plan. Yeah, committed. <laughs> so sorry, guys, but all your names are on them, and these are due to be painted and ready very soon. Yeah. Um, and we will be having graphics provided by Zero Feel. Uh, Zero Feel doing a lot of stuff as well at the minute with like Kingstar and all sorts of things going on. So it's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is it. We went JZX, we went Overdose. Can't really go wrong with that. I was going to say, it's kind of the only option, really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they're, they're coming. Sorry about the delay. It should be pretty cool. It's it should look it should look pretty awesome when people do videos and photos. And It'd be cool. And I think like uh, from the camera, you can probably get an idea of the design. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Yeah. but It's basic because there's own colors. a lot of them to do. So yeah, uh, let's get those out of the way. And we want them all we just want to start with them all on the camera. So. Uh, let me put them in. as quietly as possible yeah we're very aware that they make a lot of noise and yeah. microphones right on the counter kind of tend to pick Clang, up a lot bang. Of noise. yeah Slam, and that makes people deaf sort of stuff. And um, other new stuff yeah it's been a while since we did this as you can probably tell because of uh, illness and various things yeah but we have a new circuit we can have that corner we've got a new a new circuit uh for anyone that's been coming in here a while you probably recognize it it is actually the layout that we did it's our very first for, one. A, for our very first circuit um which is kind of you know the elements of the circuits that we enjoy in the real world so it's a little bit mayhem with a wall run it's a little bit abyssu with a sort of sweeping bit of with, the, with the nose clip exactly yeah so there's a bit of everything there and as you can tell we're quite focused on the straight because that's what we're talking about um and there's a few different lines on it i'm not sure how clearly you'll be able to see them yeah, looks like they're coming out all right yeah i know man i don't know if you can tell the difference between the orange and the red um but you know quite a difference between if you can see the red the sort of everybody run together line and then the uh orange which is the kind of hardcore you know, hardcore running by yourself solo run line you can run twin on that line but it's just stupidly hard um you know we've been running it for how long is it about two weeks mm, yeah just yeah about two, two weeks. weeks and uh you know even kind of regular you know better guys are still fighting to get that line perfect because mm. it's it's such a small line to get it brutal it's hard um myself included you know that's a that's a difficult line to run the rest of it nice and flowing and the idea is you can bunch up and you can twin up and everything um and obviously we've got our regular pointers on the on the circuit to let you know yeah what to do no parking and where you can and can't <laughs> i'm sure park. that's a new one because i only spotted that this morning yeah i had to add arrows because people are like oh you can't park in the lane it's like no 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 that whole bloody area because obviously you know if you're coming around and you want to you know the reason we put cut throughs on the track is if you come around and you've messed up on the straight and everyone's over here you don't want to have to kind of wait an entire lap for them to come back yeah. you know you can just cut through and rejoin for the fun part so you know it, it it's kind of easy to join in and just try and get that one corner right because this is super super hard mm. um but again there is an e easy line there you can run it as one drift and yeah. as a as an oval if you need to uh, we've had quite a few new guys coming down and they're not struggling to get around yeah everyone's getting around um you know even the rear wheel drive guys are getting to throw it out on the wall which is pretty cool as well what's quite cool is that it's two years this week since we since we opened yeah and the guys that were here when we first opened seeing them run on this track and seeing how much better they've got yeah it's kind of kind of awesome well also you know obviously you can't see with the camera pointing this way but how much the better the track has got 
Um, mm. You know, I don't know. You've probably all seen photos online, I'd hope. Um, but we've added a lot more detail in the course. Mm. Um, we've done a lot of work. We've had some new railing built. More um, lighting. And you know, Lee's come down, uh, Lee Perkins, he's come down and um, helped out a lot with, with building a few bits. And, you know, we've, we've stepped it as, up as much as you can right now. We've even got a black uh, black backdrop. So, yeah. you know, when you're filming, it looks a bit cooler. And then it should be... Uh... Okay, time. Yeah, that falls off and catches spiders. Yeah. So that's that's been great because that's absolutely gross right now. Uh, it's now made the door. The spiders are still there. Oh, what? Yeah, I, did, I didn't put it up. That's disgusting, man. <laughs> that was Ark. Ark. Ark put it up, and it was quite funny watching him sort of try not to rub over the spiders because that's just gross. That's gross. But, um, yeah, new circuits there. Have a look at some pictures online. If you can make it, come and try it because yeah. that would be rad. Um, but, yeah. Uh -huh. It should be pretty good. Uh, That's all I, I think, have to I think say for, about for the that. next competition, which is obviously some time off. But yeah. um, I'd be interested because I, I very distinctly remember our first competition. Yeah, I remember. It, I remember seeing where everyone struggled, and would be interested to see if people struggle the same. It'll way also be different. interesting as uh, judges to see where we're at because yeah. as the standard of driving has improved, as judges we obviously expect more because yeah. the standard of the drivers is better so it, you know it's harder to get the higher points because people can achieve the higher points whereas in the beginning you know it was like i think everyone did quite well on this one yeah but then i remember there were being a there being a few people spinning down the straight for qualifying yeah where they clang the wall but that didn't happen too much after that no that, that was our opening weekend competition which it's it's a, one. it's cert certainly going to be interesting but uh yeah that's the course Come and try it. I spent yeah. ages doing the diagram this month as well. This month? You spend ages doing it every month? No, 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 this month. Look at coloured all the things in. You do every month? Not like that. That's the best <laughs> one we've done. God, you'll never be an artist, will you? It's getting smudged more as well. So we have done that. We've done the team bodies. We've got a new circuit. Uh, next thing on the agenda is uh, something we've got back in stock. Yeah. Um, because well, you know, people, people have been asking people for a need cheaper options. Option. Yeah. Uh, we have the Samoa MXV, which we are going to open right here before you're very live nice. unboxing. The internet loves this stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, man. We should have like 10 million views or something on this. I What's doubt that's. Thing? I doubt that's going to happen. No, not with the uh, not with our current view rates. They've uh, they've changed the packaging. This is this is the fractionally more expensive version. Um, I think it costs about five or more than the other version, but we. We stopped this one because it comes with two receivers. So it means if you've got a couple of RC cars, you don't need to buy another receiver because receivers can be quite expensive. It's um, pretty, pretty well wrapped. Yeah. So there's the, the MXV itself. It's pretty. It, it's it's a it's a weird one because it's relatively cheap for a transmitter, but it feels awesome. Like it's got it's got the good samurai quality in the hand and stuff. On off switch, battery pack. Receiver, waterproof, receiver, waterproof. I was going to say, two receivers. Very important, they? they're the waterproof receivers as well. So if you yes. want to use them on a, on a basher car, no problem at all. Exactly, out yeah, in the mud. And yep. Or if you've got a buggy, or if you've got... And they're a, they're a pretty reasonable size, if yeah. you can see them. We're not going to get the, out the yeah, gynecology can see when They're the 37, aren't they? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, 37W. They are, they're pretty awesome little receivers, I think. They're pretty tough. Pretty tough little options. Um, I think, to be perfectly honest, if you, if you don't have the budget for an MT4 or an M12, this is the only thing I'd consider. Mm. I wouldn't. Uh, there's a couple of Futabas that are okay. There um, are. There are. But this is, you know, it, it's very much, it does a business. Yeah. Um, you know, it's got a nice trigger feel. It's got a nice steering feel. And it's got enough um, tension in it. Like, when, when you... When you're learning, you know, things like Korogashi and throttle control and steering control, Having some uh, feedback on the wheel, mm. having a bit of resistance is a good thing. The better you get, generally, the looser everything will get because you can be more accurate. But certainly to begin with, before mm. you've got the kind of throttle control with your finger. Yeah, you've got too much If it's too off. loose, yeah, yeah, it's too easy to get into the power. I mean, uh, when we started, you know, I'd always have my full finger in the trigger, and now it's I've barely got my fingertip in it because mm. I, I want to be able to be very fine with the control. Um so you know, as as far as like kind of a uh, um, a basic controller that's a level above some of the other brands out there yeah. that we don't enjoy, 
um, I think it's it's much better, and it does have all the basic functions that you need. Yeah, um, it, it does have everything you need. It, it's kind of no frills in terms of um, when you compare it with a, a, an MT4 or something. Yeah, but it, mean, it's it's got more frills than than a lot of transmitters. It, it just it, does the job, and, and it it's looks spot on. And it looks quite happy as well. There's a lot of ugly controllers out there, and it depends. You know, I, I guess the design of that is slightly more mature mm. than other controllers um so that you know that makes a, a big difference really i want to i've never checked actually i know wasn't sure if it had the plug on so you could put a lipo bag uh, pack in super easy but it doesn't oh okay there you go <laughs> but yeah let's see the mxp we've got them in stock um that's 95 quid basically with two receivers two waterproof receivers um, Which I don't think the price hasn't increased much no, to account for the second receiver. No, either, it's so. like six, seven quid or something. Um, it's just a, a better deal, essentially. Um, we don't, we're, we're not often going to have loads of these in stock because most people tend to go for the MT4. Um, but currently, we have a few. It's well worth grabbing them while you can, and while this deal is available with the two receivers. Um, I know these were out of stock for a long time before um, before they came back. We've had somebody. I had a customer waiting for one for a while. Unfortunately, they uh, we couldn't we couldn't get it any faster because we've got to wait on our suppliers. But um, yeah, they're they're very very good bits of kit for the money for sure. Yeah, and I could quite happily, like I was saying, I, I'd quite happily go into a competition with one of those. If if my M12 failed um, or I lost my M12, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel too bothered by not having. Well, this is the you know, thing, you know, like it, it, it's one of those things where if I was buying again, mm. um, I think my first choice would be an MT4. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, if, like you say, if, if there was sort of a choice between this and potentially other brands, I would use one of these over other brands. Yeah, for sure. But then I'd use one of our RTR controllers over. Over certain brands, yeah. Over certain brands, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They'd come highly rated. Uh, so, that is the mxv um the other thing we've got uh to kind of put back out there is the fact we've got some discounts on yep um we have discounts on multiple items we've been these off are, the air for a couple of weeks sorry so these these are ending discounts that aren't on for much longer um i mean we, we may we, extend them because kind of well you know. the, the the um basically what we have here is the, the quick adjustable shop towers um which we've got one of every Every option, so we have them in stock for the triple X, for the RMX, for the FXX, and we also have the for the FXX. We have just the rear available on its own because obviously you can have the IFS in the front, mm. which means you don't need one of the on the front. Um, this was a deal that was due to end today, but because we've missed the last couple of waffle times, we're going to extend it until Sunday night. Um, so you've got the weekend. If you come into the store, obviously you can pick them up at the discounted price. Basically, you're going to save. Well, uh, on on the set, it's about fifteen quid. I think you save. Mm. Um, which is well worth having because they're, they're not the cheapest item in the world. Um, but they are very, very, very worth having. Yep. Hence the reason I have them on my RMX and I have them on my other RMX. And uh, I would have them on my RRX if we currently had them available. <laughs> um, but they're, they're right. So that, that'll be extended till Sunday. I'm going to gonna fix that when we get off air. Um, we also have the Thunder Power 10 amp charger, which in my opinion is the best charger available. Um, that's currently discounted, but we only have a couple of those left at the discounted rate, and then they'll be going back up to full price. Yep. So if you're thinking about getting one, get one while you can. Um, literally, I think we have two left at the discounted price. Um, I should probably buy one while they're cheap as well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. needs must and all that. Um, and we also have our Acuvance bundle, which is probably worth mentioning again um even though we're out of stock on a couple of motors at the moment but we uh very soon we have the new acuvance led light systems yeah. coming which will require a tau 2 and, and the brain and the brain and if you're going to buy all that you might as well buy it while it's but acuvance now are stepping up there the, you know it's a system you buy into isn't it really so mm. once you've got the esc you know you can get into the brain unit you can get into the tau you can get into the led light kit yeah and it's it's and all controllable others. from the tau and you can all add on to that. Um, and it's supported and, and updated yeah. and improved. And yeah, yeah. the um, I think it's it's going to be a, a long standing system for them for sure. Mm. Um, many years probably uh, yeah. because there's a lot of upgradability. There's there's expansion ports that they haven't even uh, you know disclosed what they're for yet. 
Um, there's obviously the the, the Tau 2 has a, a, a micro SD card in, so yeah. it's expandable in terms of storage. There's plenty of onboard storage as well, so the, the, they've it's, got a lot. It's getting nuts, isn't it? You know, there's there's, a a, there's, a, there's there's just a load of room for them to grow into with it, whereas the original Tau met its limitations fairly early on. And when the, the Tashon area came out, the, they actually had to remove some functions from the Tau, like the thermometer. Yeah. It was built in because they didn't have the available memory for it. Mm. So to to improve the function of the basic ESC, they had to lose function of the Tau because they hadn't planned that far ahead. Mm. Whereas with the Tau two, they could they can do anything. They, they they're, they're not limited in any yeah. way. Yeah. They can just store it on the memory card if they have to. Yeah, um, well, they've and, expanded and so, everything that's on the you know on the ESC itself by putting more boards in basically. Yeah. So there's just a a ton more stuff that it can actually do. Yeah. And yeah. um, and the, the 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 thing I really love as well with Acuvance is they don't just release it and then that's how it works. They they release a new firmware that massively changes the way things work and mm. really improves the function, especially yeah. lately with the latest update with the throttle is massively improved. Um, and it's it's something that they they will continue to do because they're they're committed to it. Mm. Um, there is there hasn't ever been a better time to buy the uh, the the Acuvance bundle. We've currently got twenty percent off if you buy. Uh, a motor ESC and Tau together, Tau two. Mm -hmm. um, that deal, we don't have an end date for it, but it's not that much further down the line, uh, possibly only another week or two, um, because we can't offer the discount forever. Mm. Unfortunately, it's not how it works. But I think uh, it's well worth getting. Essentially, those three items, as much as it's a bunch of money, I consider them all pretty essential. <laughs> personally, I mean, that's the only ESC I run. No. Uh, I wouldn't run anything if, if I was racing buggies. If I was doing anything other than crawling that requires different, yeah, you know, requires. I, I think you could probably set it up to do that pretty well as well. Not, it's it's uh, it's not the gearing for it, but yeah, essentially, I just think that's the only charge I'd run. That's the only um, DSC and motor I'd run, and, and that is the chassis you run. So yeah, <laughs> job yeah, done. They're, they're essential. So that is all of the deals we have on at the moment. Um, yeah. Let's pop these back into stock. We have a whole bunch of questions because we've missed a bunch over the yeah, last couple of weeks, unfortunately. Um, so, I'm not quite sure where they all came from. Uh, <laughs> right, let's start with the question that we've missed for a few weeks from Mr. Lee Perkins. Oh, that's Lee. Yeah, he'll, he'll be happy. He's been um, waiting for that one. I'm only doing it first, so we don't forget it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said, what's the overall outcome or potential benefits in performance of a car if running what? a double board if? Say, say that again. That that was all kinds of slurred. <laughs> what is the overall outcome or potential benefits in performance of the car if running a double board if with a one-way prop? Uh, he wants to run a, He's currently running a board if in the front and wants to try both with the one-way prop as well. Okay, so if you run a, a double board if, you are effectively running the maximum amount of grip yeah. available um however the disadvantage of running a double board if, is that because the front wheels can't unlock as it were yeah. and um, freewheel completely independently your direction changes um can be slowed down from that yeah and so, you have to drive through the direction change yeah so you tend to drive on power yeah. all of the time which makes it it can feel a bit numb. Mm. Um, the settings for double ball diff are, are very difficult because the the grip levels are so sensitive, um, and obviously you need to have grip when you're on counter, but you also need grip when you're running straight. Um, if you add in the center one way, it basically uh, frees up the front end and gives some of that slip back because it's not driven uh, constantly on power. Mm. And also, when you brake, you you uh, gain the handbrake effect. Yeah, I was going to say that essentially you it's, you it's the creating the independence between the front and rear again. Yeah, exactly. So it recreates that independence, but on throttle, you continue to have that grip. Mm. Um, but it is um, a very advanced for sure. Uh, and your, your driving your, technique, your board of setup it. has to be spot on. It does, yeah, front and rear. Yeah, um, you know, and it, it's very very sensitive. When you get it right, it can be incredible. Uh, for example, Hideki Baba, um, when we were out in Japan, I had a go of his car, double ball diff, absolutely amazing. You know, it it drove like it had a one way, mm. um, but that's it, it's the a Baba very, effect. It, it's the Baba effect, yeah, <laughs> but it's, he's incredibly good at settings. 
and he's just professional level so you know his car's bound to drive well um but it's a, a very difficult thing to master hmm. um yeah, yeah I'd, I'd like to put a double, a i'd like to do the same setup to be honest in my triple xs mm. um it's something i've wanted to do for a while um currently just running a, a ball diff in the front but i, I will be putting a, a center one way in at some point as well mm. for sure um, i've been there before mm. and uh got some stupidly quick direction changes but ironically i started out with that yeah with the, uh, with the old weird uh, isn't it? mr4 weird, isn't it? <laughs> ball diff front ball diff rear and then i yeah. ended up with a center pulley on my Oh yeah, because you're belt drive, yeah. and I did the same thing with shaft drive. <laughs> so maybe we need to revisit that. Need to revisit that and Deval, no one way uh, prop shaft. Yeah, from where the option that. isn't there. Not yet. Got two ball diffs. I've been in that one. Just means you need a triple XS. Maybe. Um, <laughs> next next question. question: Aiden Morris has said, "Is it worth buying somewhere MT4, or is there not much difference between that and a normal remote?" Uh, it's hugely beneficial. It's um, night and day difference. Yeah. Um, essentially, the only time I wouldn't upgrade to an MT4 is if you had something that was equal or better, which there aren't many out there. Mm. So, even if you're running a very well-respected transmitter from another company, unless you're completely sort of uh, over the moon with it, I'd still upgrade. Mm. It's just the way I look at it personally. Um, Actar has said, right, Actar. "My FXXS straightens up every time I rip that high drive." <laughs> Could this be because of the three degrees rear toe? Besides technique, of course, uh, not I, likely. I refuse to answer that question because he said rip that high drive. I know. Shouldn't have a high drive. Should be using inertia and balls. <laughs> um, I was going to make a comment, then. I'm just going to. I'm not going to go down that road. What about balls? No. Um, um, three degrees of toe shouldn't make it straighten up. It yeah, will maybe. it'll create stability. Mm. Um, but what it will do is um, it's probably more a, to do with the, the balance. A, a towing on the rear will create a lot of lead wheel grip when you're braking mm. because it's dragging against the floor. Um, however, that's sort of counteracted by the trailing wheel loss of grip because it's towed in and going in the direction that you're going. Uh, what I would say is um is it's more to do with where the weight is going mm. as you're you know ripping the hydro um but yeah basically <laughs> if you know if you flick the car out and it it's not staying out there if it's just tailing the front end then it's likely to be ackerman or just that you've got a little bit too much weight over the front or basically that you know you it could just be spring balance yeah exactly um, spring balance so but again spring balance is front front rear yeah. roll grip you know you've got roll side to side but you've also got roll front to back as well you know dive and squat um so you know just take all those things into consideration when you're driving and you, you know you, you rip the hydro <laughs> stop saying that man. just um, just say when you break just watch where the <laughs> watch, watch where the weight goes try and watch the movement of the chassis and see if it's uh you know firing all the weight forwards yeah and that's why you're losing that um the, the side well, well, straight up yeah. yeah um antonio has said uh when's it going to be in oh. italian i think he means waffle time um, waffle time somebody wants italian. to translate it to italian that'd be fine but um i don't currently have the time to learn italian unfortunately i can only swear in italian i can't and it's quite bad so i'm not going to do it on camera <laughs> that's for me um, fault Hi, Filippo. Uh, Andy Denny said, on my FXXDS, I fit to an IFS and lateral conversion to save stripping gears and my and advance my setup. I cannot, however, get the car to drive as the motor rotation can't be reversed, even with the program card. It's an IMG setup. Um, okay, uh, just, sorry, just cutting through this. Uh, basically, um, just... To be clear, Andy, you shouldn't try and reverse the motor anyway on your ESC because you, it's not designed for that. That's something we mention every time. OMG motors can't be reversed on the program card. Um, but the uh, lateral conversion, which we have up here, uh, does allow you to run, I believe, um, you can build it backwards, essentially, and run the gears backwards. Um, you can flip the motor to the other side. OK. I, I haven't investigated, to be honest. Um, I haven't I'm looked at it in a while, so I may be confused, and I may have, <laughs> maybe looking at something else. But I'm pretty sure, just like the, the just... RMX, you can flip it around and, and mount everything on the opposite I need side. To, I need to turn that off because it keeps buzzing at me. Um, Apologies. 
uh, okay essentially yeah it, it you shouldn't have any problems so there's something you can tweak i'd suggest looking at the the way it's assembled and basically see if you can flip the motor around rather than the uh re reversing the direction of the motor mm -hmm. um, you can also play with your transmitter and change settings on there yeah and things like that another question from actar for me um about my fxx vrp what was the total weight <sighs> Your FXX was... I think that was like 14.50. I think it was heavier than that. Oh, no, that was mine. I think yours was about 14.50, yeah. Something along those lines. It wasn't massively heavy, to be perfectly honest, even though it had all the upgrades on. Um, I didn't add... Well, at times I added a bunch of weight, but I didn't actually run it with and much that's, weight. And that's with the battery as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, with, with the shorty. But without the body. Um, yeah, but body's never much on mine. Um, I think it was about 14.50. I may be wrong. I'll have a look. Um... I'll have a look on the blog post, all right, because I might have put it on there. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Tim has asked, um, Hi, do you think rear-wheel drive drif drifting will get bigger, more popular than CS drifting? Um, I always thought it would, but it's been a lot slower to pick up than I ever expected. I think they're two different things. I think rear-wheel drive is... Um, it's certainly kind of more realistic because it's rear-wheel drive. Mm. But... Um, as yet, it doesn't have the aggression of four-wheel drive, and it doesn't <clears throat> quite require the same technique as four-wheel drive. The settings have to be better. We've been through this before, I suppose. You know, we have said all this. Um, but basically, they're two different things. And I think if somebody wants to do aggressive drifting, they still stick with four-wheel drive. And mm. if someone wants to kind of I get think, into the detail... I think the, 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 style the element that drive. needs to change is um, the evolution of chassis and as as time goes on and more people do rear wheel drive more time is invested into developing rear wheel drive chassis and they get better and better you know mm. in the time it's taken for the the fxx to come out and then the RM, uh, rrx to come out um there's a huge leap in technology um which makes it more accessible which means more people get into it which means more people develop it the style the styles and technique are improved um, it's it's kind of a, a an ongoing thing that just needs a bit more commitment from everyone, from from drivers, from manufacturers, from um, from it's track getting and everything. It's yeah, getting it's, it's getting there for sure, and it's much bigger now than it was a year ago. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and it's also much more um, interesting to a lot of people. Mm. Uh, Actors asked, "What's the difference between hardest and harder tires? Uh, one is tarmac, one is concrete, essentially." Yeah. Um, Harder is there's different materials. Yeah, harder is tarmac. Yeah, hardest concrete. In theory, uh, that doesn't always work. You've got to match the yeah, yeah, tire for sure. The even, uh, there's even places I know that run on concrete, and the carpet tire is actually the best option. The hard yeah. option is the best one yeah. for them. It, it's down to the material. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I thought we'd asked this, answered this question recently, but um, I'll leave you to answer this one while I go and find the rest of the questions. Tom Hampton's asked, "What's the effect of rear caster, if any?" Well, um, I suppose it, it controls, to a degree, roll-on speed. Uh, so the speed that the chassis will travel forwards off throttle um, and the speed that the grip will be delivered on throttle. Um, so you're just altering. It's exactly the same as the front. You're altering the, the pitch of the tyre against the ground. So it just alters the way that the torque's delivered. Um, I mean, it's one of those things that you kind of need to experiment with yourself. Um, but, it, you know, if you've got a, a, like on an MS, for example, you can adjust it um, on the on the upper arm. Uh, but if you've got something like a triple X or a Deval, um, it's adjusted by uh, the anti-squat or the anti-dive. Uh, anti um, so it's sort of a suck it and see, really. Um, it also will affect uh bump steer as well um that's you know everything affects everything else so it's always yeah. going to get more and more complicated as you go but uh yeah try it see what happens i'd say that less caster will reduce the grip response and more caster will increase it but it's easier to get beyond the gripping point of the tire with more caster because you've got more aggression that makes sense uh, yeah, I think so. I wasn't really listening in a long Okay. I'm trying to find these questions. That makes they, sense. You got more questions? Um, yes. 
Oscar has asked, uh, why are shipping costs so high to Ireland? Um, <clears throat> basically, because passes have to go on a boat. Um, a plane. <laughs> it's essentially it's because of demand. There's not we don't we don't sell that much to Ireland. We haven't had time to invest to come. Problem is with, when you ship stuff um, professionally, you need to account for all options. It's not mm. just a case of like, oh, well, this package is going to be this big, so it's fine. Yeah. We need to know what's going to happen if you buy one of those with one of those. And if you buy one of those with the set of wheels, and if you buy one of those with the charger, there's all, yeah. all these options. And it takes time to come up with a matrix of different product sizes, different product weights, different classifications of um, whether they've included I mean, the fluid, it, which means said, it can't if, be sent the if, same way. If, there's, if you want to order a lot of things to Ireland, say you order a chassis and it's one price, and then you are going to add on more products that will effectively go in the same box, and you, you think we can do better on the shipping, send us an email. Yeah, we'll always know, try. We'll um, try. The, 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 We've we've done it for lots of countries like Holland and uh, and various places where when we know there's people that want to buy stuff we'll invest the time. Um, we didn't before because most of the stuff we sold in Ireland was done through models, yeah. um, and so they That's were always ordering yeah. on yeah. Uh, on a larger scale, which meant they were just paying the courier fee, which wasn't a problem. Yeah. Um, we will probably look at the pricing fairly soon. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a lot of other priorities at the moment, so it may not be in the next week or so. But um, in, if enough people want us to. We'll put together a proper matrix to be able to offer the cheaper options as well as the, the higher value ones. Mm. It just takes a lot more time than people see, than people realise, you know. Um, uh, we've got a question here, and I don't know who's actually asked it, but it's: <laughs> Do you guys like the MST FXXDS? Yes. Yes, we do. You had one. I did. It was very good. I kept it completely standard. I just put in some fancy electrics. That was about it. And it did pretty good. Just messed around with the caster a bit to run it on the carpet. And, and that's literally all I did. I even ran the standard dampers on it, didn't I? Yeah, I, 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 I forget. I did. Um, no, I didn't. I ran fancy dampers, and apart from that, it was stock. Fancy dampers, fancy electrics, and <laughs> it was good. So, yeah, get one. We've improved our, uh, our system. Well, um, our system speaks Dutch. <laughs> yeah, uh, Akta has asked another question, uh, which I think he may have asked earlier in the week. Uh, but how is the F, uh, the triple XDS getting on? Pretty good. Good. Very good. Um, That's all on you. you I didn't mean to smash that into the into the counter and make loads of noise. It's all right. It's um, now. <laughs> basically, we uh, all I've done to that is it's got a, a turnbuckle set, it's got a screw kit on, and it now has an aluminium front diff, uh, ball diff, mostly because I wanted to change my CS ratio and I knew I was going to be putting an aluminium one in at some point. I might as well do it while I'm changing the gearing rather than stripping it and then rebuilding give it. it a try. And it works ace. Mm. Um, I do plan on putting an aluminium ball diff in the back and a one-way prop at some point. Probably start with the prop um, to go with the spool in the back. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked with it. I really like how it drives. Start, started to make a few tweaks to the settings, nothing too major. Um, it's an interesting experiment to just kind of see what we can do with something basic. basic. Yeah. I know it's got fancy electrics in, but the, the chassis itself is pretty basic. Um, it works ace. Um, oh, I've put big angle drive shafts in. I forgot about that. Ah, sort of fair enough. Yeah, um, only because I want a big angle. <laughs> uh, it's fairly obvious. Uh, we've got a question here that's, uh, do I know where... You can get a manual for the MSO1D, RTR, brushless, ESC, or a guide on how to program it without a program card. Um, basically, I believe that's online. Isn't well, it? you need, you really just need the program card uh, to program the brushless yeah. one. Um, we have all the manuals that we have available are on our blog at um, maxbtechnology.co.uk/slash blog. Yeah, I'm not and sure. And then there's an MST a, downloads page. A couple of the uh, program cards knocking about spare. It depends on which model. Uh, we've got so them in stock. If whoever that is wants to. Send a message in. Yeah, we can probably arrange one of those. I was going to say, you just uh, lost it. The best thing to do is just email us if you if you get stuck. Um, we have a comment here that is literally talk about rear wheel drive drift. It's fun. Next question. <laughs> that's a that's an odd one. Um, that's like a command. It's yeah, not really a question. It's like talk about it. Sure. Uh, right, that's all the questions there. Bear with me while I we find. Can, we kind of have to be honest, you know, with the whole four wheel drive regression and rear wheel drive. Um, finesse thing. Uh, well, we uh, we like rear wheel drive. There's a lot of rear wheel drive guys here. Uh, this is getting 
kind of weird. This is what happens when we miss waffle time for a few weeks and we've got questions it's, all over the place. It's getting weird. Yeah. Because I'm now looking back for a while <clears> and I'm <throat> now trying to remember which question we, questions we've answered and which ones we haven't. We haven't Cause... answered questions for the last two weeks. We've been off. Yeah. So I think sorry. they're pretty much done. If we missed your question. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one more place. There's one more place. Oh, okay. Let me just check. This when <laughs> you're the internet guy, man. I, I'm I'm absolutely no good at that. Don't blame me. My computer is currently dead. I yeah, Mitch, no I killed his why. computer, which is I really didn't do anything. I was just sat blew it up. turned off. I was kicking it and like I didn't do anything. Abusing it. It just turned off. Uh, <laughs> okay, I've just found the other questions, and there's no questions. Oh, okay. It's comments rather than questions. There yeah. is a question technically. It's it's from last time, and it's no waffle time this morning. Apparently not. No, there is today, though. So, anyway. So that's um, kind of us done. If we have missed your questions, we are sorry. Uh, please send them back in or just make us aware. Wait of until them. I post the next one and then post it on that because that'd be good. There's like three weeks worth of waffles that are all on one. Yeah. One. Maybe post. maybe we'll go back and double check that and you know. Yeah, we'll make a list of if, if we spot any that we missed. Every time every time we finish, I'm like, ah, there's a question there on this. Yeah. Damn it. But, um, well, Lee's told us off like three times in a row because yeah, yeah, once you forgot, and then we were off two weeks, and then finally we've answered it. So, and then he's going to be disappointed with our response. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And I meant it like this. Oh, okay. Well, to be fair, it's <laughs> stuff he already knows. But, yeah, yeah. he's asking for the benefit of others, which is always exactly. good. Exactly. And it's always worth doing. If ever you got a question that you think people need to know the answer to, or if you keep getting asked the same question, ask us, and we can answer it for everyone. Yeah, and then it's on film forever. That was depressing. Uh... <laughs> anyway. That we're was gonna, awful time. We're going to finish this one early today, um, yeah. and we'll be a bit more pre prepared for next week, where we haven't got loads of other stuff to take care of yeah. and crack on with. But um, I'm a we also should have new new stock in next I week. I say that every time. I'm a Kabula. Got to say, become a beard today. Got to say something. I didn't say like and favorite this shit. I didn't. But do that anyway. Yeah, like and favorite, subscribe. That's the big one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we will be back next week. Yes. Apparently. So next week? Hang on. Yeah, next week we'll be back. The week after we won't be. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I yeah, <laughs> just got so confused. I thought I'd better double check that. I was yeah. mixing my dates up, but yeah, well um, the following Friday we'll be off. So next week will be the big one. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now. We'll be next time. Bye.